It's not often that I put a new part on a sled that I've never installed before, but I'm super excited to be working with Seco seat covers this season. <laughs> custom seat cover that I'm gonna be putting on my Assault. I think the color combo is gonna really tie it together great. So this is the rough look at it. Obviously it's not installed yet. Um, I did kind of a black, orange, and lime combo, hopefully to tie together everything on the sled. Only thing I'm a little nervous about is taking off the existing seat cover um, and then stapling a new one on, getting that perfect fit, but I know I can do it. These seem to fit amazing online, so I'm sure it's gonna look awesome when I'm done. To remove the seat cover, I kept it simple and just used a set of needle nose pliers and a flathead. You can buy an upholstery staple remover, but this worked fine for me and I wouldn't spend the money after doing it this way. So you didn't hear this from me, but this is just a staple gun from Walmart. Um, <clears throat> I think it cost me like $35. I'm gonna try to match up a similar size staple to what was already in it. it looks like this middle size is the most similar. Um, I thought about maybe going with bigger, but I wanna make sure like the fit overall is pretty similar to what was on it. So I'm not gonna go with a bigger size. Um, these should be good and we will see how this super cheap staple gun works. I put a blanket down on top of the table to not only keep the seat cover protected as I was removing staples and everything, um, but I also wanted to keep it as clean as possible. I've noticed uh, in some other videos, guys handling the seat cover a lot with the lighter colors, kind of like I have, they end up with fingerprints or dirt marks all over them. So uh, just kind of a little tip to keep it clean. I think once you're using the seat cover, um, other than like mud splashing up on it, there shouldn't be too many instances where you're touching it with anything too too dirty um, and I'm more okay with normal wear and tear putting stains in the seat cover than I am with just installing it and putting seat stains in the seat cover so so if you cheap out like me and get a really cheap staple gun um, I would use a smaller staple so the pack I got had quarter inch three eighths inch and half inch staples I tried to use the three eighths originally and they wouldn't go through the plastic um, they did go right into wood I tried them out just to be sure but uh, the quarter inch seems to work best. And if you get spots like this, like on the front and back or on the corners, you can always just double them up to make sure it really bites. Or, you know, you could spend more money on a staple gun, but we're already into the project, so we're just gonna run with it like this. So in general, I got pretty much all the staples in. Some of the problem spots I'm running into are these edges. Um, I just wanna get a couple more staples in there, but for some reason my staples just will not cut into the plastic, so. Um, but I got the back pretty good. I learned how to do this section. Um, I was trying to originally staple a little higher up on the uh, seat base and it wasn't going through. This is where the original staples were, so I went back through, just pulled the uh, seat cover down a little bit and was able to get a bunch of staples in through here. Um, the front's okay, I still wanna work on that. I'd love to get a staple in here, but again, it seems like some of these spots, the plastic's a little thicker and my staple gun just will not go through it. So I'm gonna keep working at it, but overall, I would say the seat looks pretty awesome. Um, no real wrinkles in it. I was able to get it on pretty flat, I did have the back on originally and it had some wrinkles so I took all the staples out, pulled it back even farther and tightened it back up. So I think that's really good. The only spot I kind of would maybe like to change is up here, but I'd have to take so many staples out to get that tighter that I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. Um, and I also think if I could just pull this in and get a staple here, it would solve the problem. But um, this is a really tough spot to get a staple to stay into, so. 
yeah, overall going pretty well. Um, that's where I'm at. I would say I'm pretty good with all the staples I have in. I got a couple more in these spots. I figured that was going to be kind of a high traffic area. So both sides have <clears throat> like two to three um, just to make sure that it really holds. Um, up here, I have a bunch in the front. I was able to get a couple more in here. Um, back looks pretty good. The only thing I'm interested in is I don't really know with this fabric here if I should like trim it. But... Um, I'm going to leave it for now and see if the seat can still lock with it in there. Um, and if that's the case, I'm just going to leave it. The biggest tip I can give you is get the staple gun really flat um, and make sure it's not going to move at all. With mine, if it just even nudges a little bit, the staple doesn't go all the way in. So if you can get the seat really still and put pressure on it uh, to make sure the staple gun doesn't move, it'll bury the staple right in the seat. If it moves even a little bit, the staple's not going to go all the way and you're going to have to redo it. All right, so I'm all done with it, and I think it came out incredible. Um, as you can see, I was able to tie in all the stock colors on the sled, whether it's the black on the tank kind of working into the seat. Uh, we have the orange up on the console working into the top of the seat, and then I had to put some lime on it, so the back part's lime. I figured I would do a black stripe across the top to kind of tie into this black section, and then I did the uh, neon stripes across the whole back to tie in with that neon section down there. I think it really makes the sled pop. It makes it look super custom, and um, I'm so happy with how it turned out. So thankful to Seiko for working with me this season. Um, it's awesome. They have a great product. You can customize it to any spec you want, and it's also gonna offer more grip to really make sure your legs are connected to the sled. Uh, we all know when we go through those moguls, we can feel ourselves slipping off sometimes. Some guys do like a foothold type thing to try to help that, but if you can grip the seat a little bit better with your legs, it's gonna help you stay more connected to the sled. And it just adds an awesome option as far as customizing your sled goes. I think whenever I see a sled with a custom seat cover, it stands out more than any other sled. So um, thanks again to them for working with me. Check their website out. You can customize your seat in any number of ways. There's all sorts of different panels. Like I went through mine with you guys um, to make it look however you want. You don't have to get the ribs if you don't want to. Um, just whatever you're, you're feeling, whatever you think is going to look the best on your sled, they can offer it. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one.